far south of Nashville, Tennessee, at the concert hall here at our farm, the sun is going down and guitars are being tuned up. Join us for a half an hour of some of country music's greatest songwriters, stories, and songs, here on Mule Town in the Round. Shane, you gonna do something sad? I wish you would. You don't have any sad songs, do you? Oh, no. No, I didn't think you did. Kind of guy. No, it sounds like either. the opening line to a song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, since you're doing ones you haven't pulled out of the hat in forever, I'm going to try to do one. So if All I right. mess up, get ready. Come on. You ready? I ain't scared. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. Good luck. You 
never wavered. I never wavered. I got scared. I'm like, where do I? I go, where does this go again? Hi, everyone. This is David with Azure. Here at Azure, we believe in healthy and abundant living. We are dedicated to supplying healthy and organic food for an abundant lifestyle for you and your family at a price that your family can afford. I would love to personally invite you to become a part of the Azure family where you can create community around healthy food and healthy living. I've got a song to play for you. I haven't really played this song out at all. Um, but being out here on this farm, we look down from the, from the, uh, whatever you call those things, porches. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I'll get here, I'll get there in a minute. I'll get here in a minute. Um, at the gardens that they had planted in the backyard and made me think of this song that uh, I was standing in the garden and uh, my daughter was kind of running around looking at the watermelons that we had. This song just kind of got sung to me. I could hear it in my head. I just turned on my phone and sang it from start to finish. It's a real short song. And uh, first thought I had is no one in the world is going to care about this song. And I swear I heard God say, don't despise what I'm giving you right now. And um, I literally just thought this would be one of those funny little silly songs that I sing to my daughter, which I make those up all the time. And um, But I've really enjoyed just uh, singing this around the house, even when no one's listening, because it just means a lot to me. And uh, I think it's called uh, I Stepped Into a Garden, but I, I don't know if I've named it yet. But it goes like this. I stepped into a garden left untended long ago And where my work should start now only heaven knows So I got down on my knees and said a prayer that things might grow and Bring a harvest in before the spring and I pull a weed and water all the flowers and I plant a seed and then wait for the hour when I fill the wagon with its fruit and pull it into town cause we know that all God's blessings are to share with those around. Be fruitful and multiply. Be thankful and don't waste your time. Work heartily unto the Lord and when Don't hold them to yourself Cause next year you'll need help Oh, and God can bless or curse the things you sow ah. What if you could learn how to grow your own food, raise chickens and milk cows, how to harvest, cook, can, and preserve, how to have babies at home and homeschool them as they grow, how to keep bees and start a flower garden, how to spin and weave wool, and even build, mostly a more sustainable life.
Here at our farm an hour south of Nashville, we're bringing together some of the most influential speakers, teachers, musicians, and icons for a two-day event where you can learn not only how to grow your own food, but how to grow a life filled with meaning and purpose. See, I gotta kinda go back. I told Shane and them, I gotta go back. Serious back catalog sometimes when you do a bunch of these shows. That one, I think, I, I think that's one on one of Paul's shows. I'll do this one here. Uh, this was a, a hit on a, on a kid that was uh, coming up in about, about the time bro country, you know, the, the more mm. kind of stuff that uh there was a kid come out named kevin denny and uh he was a country singer a great country singer and uh he recorded this song that me and my buddy leslie satcher wrote one morning and the dixie chicks had it on hold and they wanted to cut it and uh somebody had played it for lay reynolds who was kevin's producer that morning and uh he said, I put it on hold first and I'm cutting it on Kevin. Heck with the chicks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there was the Dixie chicks then, you know. And I still call them the Dixie chicks. <laughs> anyway, so Kevin put, he cut this song and another song of mine on, on his record and uh, he, uh, and I was thinking, dang, I missed the Dixie chicks guy. It's cut for this, whoever this Kevin Denny guy is, you know. And me and Don Sampson were sitting at a place doing a round like this one night, and he called Kevin up on stage, and I'm like, oh, here's that cat that cut my song. <laughs> <laughs> he started singing, and I was like, who are the Dixie Chicks, man? This guy's great, you know? He's just... <clears throat> but it was called Cadillac Tears. That's what we call a shuffle. Well, he wanted someone firmer and he wanted someone younger and he always had a thing for blondes. As it happened, his new secretary happened to be all that rolled into one. And the woman who had lived with him, an angel who had given him the last 22 years, is now crying. Cadillac tears don't hurt so bad. Cadillac tears, she ain't so sad. Yes, she might have lost her wedding ring, but she took him for everything. The mama didn't do too bad. Oh, she's crying big. Cadillac tears. shop in town she bought a make some diamond rings and lots of other shiny things to wear when she goes stepping down and she's heading for a lawyer's cause this morning when he called her he said checks are piling up down here oh she's crying big cadillac tears cadillac tears don't hurt so Cadillac tears, she ain't so sad. Yes, yeah, she might have lost her wedding ring, but she took him for everything. The mama didn't do too bad. Oh, she's crying big. Cadillac tears. Yes, yeah, she's cruising down street and custom wheels and leather seats you know she gets a new one every year oh she's crying big cadillac tears big old cadillac tears
There's an incredible company called Azure Standard. I've been having an incredible trip out here in Oregon, learning so much about it. This is a place where you can get so much of what you need with your food and know that it's, it's coming from a truly organic and healthy place. They want families to be able to eat food as it's meant to be enjoyed. It's really amazing. You can go to azurestandard.com. I've been really blessed by what I've been learning, so check it out. My wife's here. Miss Brooks? Yeah, Miss Brooks. She's sitting right over here. I didn't actually write this about her. And when I first brought the song home, she hated it. Bad. Kind of got me in trouble. There's a whole other story to this song. Can I just, can I tell you the story? Can I, if I stop at the bridge, can I tell you what happened? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that format. That's what, you, when you turned into Kenny last time. That was yeah. Good. That was a nice break. You know. That was an accident. <laughs> Scene change. See, yeah. Scene change. Yeah. She said, I need some time to find myself. I need a little space to think. Maybe we should start seeing other people. <laughs> Things are moving way too fast for me. So I picked up what was left of my pride and I Put on my walking shoes I got up on that high, high road And I did what any gentleman would do I got a brand new girlfriend We went and jumped off the deep end We fly to LA for the weekend Kissy, smoochy, smoochy, talking mushy, mushy about nothing. Man, I think I'm on to something. You know I feel just like a kid again. She hates me right now. I got a brand new girlfriend. I love it when she calls me Buttercup. She laughs and says I left the toilet seat up. She pops the top for me a cold beer. Says my buddy's always welcome here I get hungry, she takes me out I'm riding shotgun like a shih tzu hound My tail's a wagon, my tongue's hanging out Makes me want to shout I got a brand new girlfriend We went and jumped off the deep end We fly to LA for the weekend Moochie talking mushy, mushy about nothing. Man, I think I'm on to something. You know, I feel just like a kid again. I got a brand new girlfriend. So, so my wife's a farm girl from Indiana, and uh, she's a farmer's daughter. Never been to Las Vegas in her life. So we land in Vegas, her eyes are this big, she's looking at all the people that, you know, in Vegas, got bells ringing. She's wanting to go lay out by the pool, go to the resort. I get a phone call. It's, they go, hey man, we got some good news of record label, we got some good news and bad news. The good news is, <clears throat> we cut your song, but the bad news is the bridge that you wrote in the song is terrible. And so we need a new bridge. And I go, okay, I go, look, man, we just landed in Vegas. My wife's never been to Vegas. When I get to the hotel tonight, I'll try to scratch out. We'll get something, get you a bridge. He goes, no, that's the bad news. It gets even worse. The artist is here in the vocal booth. We need it now. It's a true story, sitting right there. So imagine her hating this song at the airport, anxious to go to the resort, and I got to write a bridge that's holding her up to the song that she hates, right? 
You guys see the pressure I was under? It's nothing but pressure. Nothing you but pressure. From every direction. Moment every like direction. Yeah. So I'm sitting there. She's like, what's going on? And I'm like, well, i got to do a bridge real quick. And I go, she goes, oh, great. She goes, okay, well, can you, I go, no, i got to do it right now. The guy's waiting. She's like, what's all you got to do? And I go, it's a brand new girlfriend. And I, but I just kind of blew up, <laughs> yeah. right? What? Like that, right? So I'm sitting there, make a long story short. I'm Too late. Up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> God love you, Win. <laughs> this is why I like doing ride arounds with you. So I'm sitting there at, at baggage claim, and I'm thinking in my head, they're in LA, we're kissy kissy, and I'm like, so I come up with, I'm start going, she likes to write her names in the sand, right? And I'm hung up because she's pacing, and I'm like, yeah. you, can't, you can't concentrate when they're mad and they're, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm sitting there for a few minutes, goes by, and she looks down at me, I promise. She goes, oh my gosh, what's the stupid line? And I'm going, she likes to write her names in the sand. And she goes, oh. they're here, they're, she's hearing wedding bells and making plans. And I went, okay, wait. That is a really cool line. <laughs> and now she's not going to be mad because I'm going to get her line. See, my, see how smart we are? Yeah. So my wife has a line in the song that she hated in the bridge. So now when it comes on, she'll turn that part up. There's my song. She likes to write her names in the sand. Hearing wedding bells and making plans. Gonna hang around a while, I guess. I even told her that I loved her yet. She hated that. That was me, but anyway. I got a brand new girlfriend. We went and jumped off the deep end. We fly to L.A. for the weekend Spend the whole day lying on the beach Nothing but a smile Kissy, kissy, smoochy, smoochy Talking mushy, mushy about nothing Man, I think I'm on to something You know I feel just like a kid again I got a brand new girlfriend I think she said her name was Mary Ann. I don't know where I came up with that. Got a brand new girlfriend. Yeah. Shane. Steve Holy, right? Huh? Steve Holy? Yes.